Okay, good morning. We are at Marriott Seattle, and I just have one question. What day is today? Thursday. Woo! <laughs> um, but first, we are walking to Starbucks, so come along and join. Okay, so on our way to Starbucks, we came out and the sun is coming in. To Here it is. And uh, it was all exciting. But I'm going to show you the pier real quick because it's kind of weird. It's in the middle of downtown. This is like the main drag that you walk along the waterfront. And then right here is where the um, terminal and piers and all that are. But like the semi trucks have to line up all along the street here with all the buses and everything. So it's literally like right in the middle of downtown and in the middle of everything. But there is our ship. Just a few hours and we'll be on it. Okay, so we are headed to the pier and just wanted to show you how close the Seattle waterfront Marriott is um, to the pier. Let's see if I can flip. So the pier is right there and the front door of the hotel is right there. So literally we have all of our stuff and all of our people and we are going to head across the street to the pier and we will be there because what day is today? It's cruise day! See you guys. Alright, so a little update. We are over at the pier. Quick walk. It was actually even closer because they have a early drop off, which is over on this side. So don't believe all signage because you get to drop your bags off over here if you're early. So now we get to go wait in line to get on the ship. We just got done with check-in. It was a super easy process, um, especially compared to some of the other ports we've been to since restart. And um, like less than probably 10, 15 minutes, never stopped walking. And now we are in the holding tank and they said that we'll probably be loading about 11.30. Okay, next update. It is just a little bit after 11 and they are starting um, to have us all board. Here it is, we're getting closer. All right, and here is the final way. We are stepping onto Norwegian Sun. All right, here is the video for 9142 Inside Cabin. Ooh. The door's really heavy. Here is the first closets and kind of the desk setup. I haven't really explored myself, so we'll see. We do have that. Not very cold. Some of my stuff is already in here. So. 
got jackets and stuff, but a full length mirror. The safe and some storage. Drawers. The bedding, which I'll be having them put together since it's just me. The couch, sofa bed. This is a room that is able to suit three people. So, that way there. Ooh, nice shelves. Shelves the whole way up and down. Some more drawers at the bottom of this one. And then a half hanging. The bathroom, typical cruise ship bathroom. We do have the lovely shower curtain. It's not plastic though, it's fabric, so a little better. But it's still the kind of tight. So that is room number 9142, inside cabin on Norwegian Sun. Okay, and then this is a balcony cabin, 9073 on Norwegian Sun. Walk in. The double closet. Drop down shelves. Ooh, some nice basket storage. The safe. The drawers. The bed is right by the door. Nightstand area, couch area, like entertainment, desk area, with the cooler. Yeah, theirs isn't very cold either. And then the balcony is there. It is the half door like that swings not the slider door if that matters to you and then again the bathroom fabric curtain but again this is balcony cabin in norwegian sun on the ninth floor
<laughs> It'll be a video. I'm sorry. Here's Denny. He's our server tonight, and he is doing amazing for the first night. Welcome to the casual. <laughs> No, but I liked it better than Carnival. I know, I have to say, I liked it better than Carnival because they played a variety of songs. Um, they played a lot of different eras of music, um, something that everybody could get into. And like Carnival, they only play like five songs, which they did play like the Wobble, the Cupid Shuffle, and a few songs like that to get the um, crowd entertained, but they played a whole variety of songs um, I liked it. I had a lot of fun. The drinks were good. Um, lots of servers. I have not heard our official like count versus like uh, passengers versus uh, staff, but I can tell you that the passenger occupancy is low. It's really low uh, because staff is everywhere to help you. Um, with that being said, there are some of the staffing issues that are plaguing all of the industry. And I will say all of the industry because I have sailed on multiple cruise lines and it's all over. And it's not just a Norwegian issue, it's not just a Carnival issue, it's not a Royal issue. It's just, it's all new staff. So um, the issues of, they haven't ever done it. Like literally over half of my people that have helped serve me today are brand new. They have started within the last month. So it's a new, they're getting used to it, getting used to the process, um, learning English, um, and then trying to work at the same time. So they're doing great. They really, really are. Give them a break, guys. They're trying the best they can. And they are so, so helpful in trying. Um, I've met some of the sweetest staff members today. It's, they're just melting my heart all around um, and really trying, bending over backwards to try to help you figure things out. So it's amazing. But um, sailway party, there were servers. Um, you could get a drink really quick. Uh, there were a lot of people out there, but was it crowded like a carnival sailway party? No, it was not. Were there people dancing on the dance floor? Yes. Were there people standing around on like the balcony up above and like in the loungers? Yes. So it was great. It was a lot of fun. They did not do like a horn blowing that I heard. Um, they just kind of did the mustard drill and like played a beeping over the like sound system, but never heard like a horn or anything like that, which kind of like, that's like how I say my vacation started is when I hear the big horn of you're finally on vacation. So I missed that. But um, overall, sailway party, great. 
been having a fun time learning the ship and this has a lot of like little secret hidden gems that you can find. Secret decks, bars behind bars, lounges behind uh, like uh, lounges and just <laughs> trying to learn it. We'll end up with so many dead ends but um, getting those steps in. Um, so after Stanley party we went and what did we do? I think we listened to a little bit of music, kind of checked in in our room, tried to find the luggage, all that kind of thing. Went to dinner. Dinner was a little slow. I will tell you it took an hour and a half, two hours. Um, but again, they're trying, they're learning. Um, definitely trying to give the staff as much positive vibes as I can. Of They're doing a great job, they're learning. Because you can see the frustration on a lot of faces of they know that they're struggling um, and they just want to do a great job. They really are learning as they're going. Um, and again, the service is good. They're learning. It's a little slow, but every night is slow. Uh, I'm having a great time with it. They're really personal. They're wanting to hear stories. They're wanting to tell you about their life before they started on cruise ships. Uh, it's great. I had a blast learning about a lot of the staff members around the ship. And then we went to a lot more musical venues. We had blues, we had 90s, um, pop, a ton of variety. And um, they're just kind of all over us. So you kind of have to like move around and follow them. Um, tons of music, such a variety. Definitely not just like one way. It's not the Vista country all the time. No, it's a huge variety. And even with like the 90s or like the pop, they'll throw a few country songs in. They'll um, throw a few like alternative or more like metal songs or rock and roll. Um, huge variety. So much fun because you never know what's coming up next. So I will tell you that is definitely a plus. Um, what else? Oh, I, we walked into one um, musical venue and they were doing a like raffle to get people to kind of show up or whatever or just like a stay away kind of giveaway and we walked in like barely sat down and they were calling off raffle numbers and the person sitting behind me didn't want to go up and dance for his reward or his prize or whatever um so he handed me the ticket and you know i have no shame in my game so i went up there and danced with the fiercest queen available um that's on the entertainment staff. He is a riot and I am having so much fun getting to know him and see him and dancing and all that kind of stuff. But um, so my reward or prize was a free bingo kit for tomorrow, which is a C day. So that'll be fun. And then after that, we just listened to more music, ordered a few more drinks. Um, half of our group went to bed and then we went to the casino and tried a little bit, threw $20 off the side of the ship. Um, one thing that was a little different is their process for transferring money from like your account onto the machine. It's a multi-step process and unlike other cruise lines, Norwegian charges a convenience fee for like charging your account and putting it onto the machine, which I did not know that. It's only a few cents, like for $20 it was 60 cents. So I don't know if that's just a ratio or just a set price, um, but they did charge you. So I know on other lines, they do not charge you if you're on a slot machine, but they do charge you if you're on a table. So that's a little different. A note to self, um, bring cash next time, no big deal. And then, um, just came back up and I'm gonna rest up. We are uh, changing time. I believe we're going one hour back um, to try to like match up with our next port time and to kind of get used to that, which that will be so hard because I'm still having a hard time getting onto the West Coast time. Like I was up at 3 a.m. this morning just because it's my internal clock. So now it'll be like a 2 a.m. wake up call. But um, yeah, we're having a great time love the sun. It is a smaller ship. It is an older ship, but it is fairly easy to navigate once you know where you're going. 
and like you're able to do the stairs if you're able to like if your knees will hold up um, it's just like a total of six seven floors from top to bottom um, which really you just go from like five to ten so you have like five floors um, but elevators are easy to catch one thing that I did notice is like when you push the up or the down button on the elevators they don't all talk to each other on like a section so you have to push multiple buttons in order for them all to be activated or called um, it was a little different kind of weird um, and it's for every station that I've visited of elevators so far um, just little side notes you know how I like to add those in kind of little tips for each ship and uh, as far as like cleanliness and upkeep because this was out of commission for quite a while um, cleanliness and all that like bathrooms hallways um, dining rooms all that they're great they're immaculate they're cleaning up spills and whatever as soon as they happen I will note that like battery things are running out so like automated flushers or um, like my safe in my room doesn't work because the battery's dead I believe um, but little itty bitty things when it came to my cabin uh, I have not seen my steward yet but I left a note saying that I needed more pillows I wanted a nap blanket um, a robe and he did them all even put my luggage in the room for me which was wonderful because um, it hadn't come any of the times when I had stopped by and I was like oh no did they lose it because I was like looking down the hallway and at like a 10 p.m. walk down to see if my luggage was here yet and it still wasn't in the hallway and then when I came in my room he had put it in the room so that it was nice and safe so that's kind of the nice little touches um, but loving the sun and um, food was great definitely definitely full the drinks um, it totally depends on your bartender so tip one or two of your servers and bartenders and they will take care of you for the rest of the time um, when you order one they will bring you four it's wonderful um, and then they get stronger too once they know you so that's a little good tip um, lots of variety I have not heard of anything that they're like out of or short supply um, so that's really nice but um, it's kind of it for the night and then tomorrow is a plan C day so hopefully I can sleep in a little bit um, I have an inside cabin so it's nice and dark it is warm on the ship I that's one thing I've noticed is um, like I'm always warm but even people that are usually cold are warm on the ship my room is very warm I am lucky that I packed a fan that I have kept running all the time except for when I'm recording here uh, and it's helped a little bit but it is warm in the rooms um, the wind jammer bar was quite warm um, I'm sure I'll like it in a few days when we're up in Alaska and freezing but uh, for tonight it's warm but um, you just go with the short sleeves and things like that and you'll be fine so tomorrow hopefully we will um, find a few more things to do well we'll play bingo now that we have a free bingo game and uh, we'll just see what we're gonna get into and definitely making those memories and not dreams and just treating it each day like it's a gift um, oh side note if you are new here um, you will see that I'm wearing a mask in a lot of my videos. I have had a heart transplant that I will not let that stop me from traveling. Um, I am smart. I do my hand sanitizer. I do my mask. I'm definitely vaccinated. Um, just all that kind of stuff. But if you see me wearing a mask, it's my personal choice. Um, just to try and keep myself healthy and this lovely donor heart that I have. Um, but masks are not mandated but quite a few of um, the passengers are wearing them and the staff is mandated to wear them, but passengers are not. And that went from everywhere from the port to embarkation um, in like the theaters and all that kind of stuff. They'll say that they're recommended, but they are not mandated, um, but I choose to wear. Um, so you will see that totally personal choice. Um, do I feel safe? Yes, as much as I can. Um, I feel safer here on the ship 
than I do going to Walmart or anywhere like that because the majority are um, vaccinated and booster. Everyone had to take um, tests before getting on. Um, it's just the day and age we live in. I love it. I'm going to travel. I make my personal choices and I keep the safety um, as far as I can. But that is my personal choice so just when you see it I know a lot of people will question why I'm wearing a mask and that's why um, but if you have any questions or anything make sure to comment below and like and subscribe there will be many more we have nine days uh, here on the Sun see you tomorrow